Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be doing something I don't think I've done yet. I think I've talked about it, but I haven't done a video on it yet. And that's going to be the Xbox One Elite Wireless Controller. This was released back in October 20, 27th of 2015, and it ranged at a price of $150. Um, I love this controller. I love the feel of it. Uh, let me grab some other controllers here. I love the feel of it. I like how it feels. It has a nice weight to it. I feel like it's a little bit heavier than regular most Xbox controllers. As you see, it's, I have a rechargeable battery in it. You have a regular pack that comes with it. I mean, like a regular two AA batteries with, with a normal backing. But I have my rechargeable on it. Um, uh, right now, uh, used I mean brand new at GameStop it's uh, $149.99 or you can get one for $164.99 with three months of gold uh, I I feel like the regular Xbox controllers are a little bit lighter the lunar white one has that nice texture on the back which this one does too All my controllers have uh, rechargeable batteries in it but back to the Elite controller the Elite controller is awesome it's all blacked out on the front besides the gold uh, silver here your silver triggers and then your d-pad this is a, like a normal fighting d-pad I guess and you can change it out uh, you can go to the back of the controller you can put uh, little triggers on the back paddles you can change the way your triggers work you can map out two different controller settings you have one and two to uh, have your different types of settings uh, it comes in a very big box like this, and it has all the descriptions on the back of it. And then in the box, you have this case, which is where all your other things are kept. I have a pair of controller freaks in there, which they go on the other controller. The controller, the, uh, it comes with a, a nice little pouch up here. And then it's nice and padded down below, and you have all you have all your different controls down here, which you can trade it out very easily with no problem. Uh, you can switch out your thumbsticks, no problem. You can switch out your uh, D-pad, no problem. And you can switch out. You can put your paddles in with no problem. I'm just taking everything out of the case, just so I can show you. I feel like I've done like talked about this in a, in a video a while back, but I'm not too sure, so that's why I'm going to do one again. Okay, so everything on this controller, everything comes off on the front, okay? And you can switch it out with different thumbstick thumb sizes. These are the lower ones. These aren't even like your normal Xbox One controllers. These ones are a little raised up, so that's, that's not even these, these are too high up. And these will be, I think it's these ones that are on the regular Xbox controller, maybe. Maybe these, these, let's look. Yeah, it's that one, and it looks smaller here. But you can throw different thumbsticks on it, any size you want, any any way you want. You can have the higher one for when you're playing war games. You can spin around a little bit quicker. Your paddles go in right to the back easily. Like that. Oh, this one goes on this side. So your paddles go on easily and you can map them all out however you want them on the system. Your D-pads switch out easily. And like I said, your D-pad, your... So, this controller is awesome, guys. I love this controller. I have it all mapped out for different games. So instead of like when I'm playing Call of Duty, I don't have to move my fingers off any of these triggers. I can just go back here, jump, reload. Uh, this is jump, this is reload. So I'm, this is switching my weapon. And this is slide. So if I'm running, all I have to do is one little click. If I have one, if I want to uh, jump, it's one little click. So 
switch weapon, one little click. And then, uh, you know, and then my triggers are always at hair. So I can have a nice quick hair trigger. So instead of having it go, instead of having it go all the way down, like you have on a basic Xbox One controller, where it goes all the way down, it's a little bit different, as you can see. Okay? So that's what I love about this controller. You can just change everything out on it, however you want. Uh, I haven't really been playing any Call of Duty games, so lately it's just been set up as a normal controller. Because like I said, I like this controller so weight more than the regular Xbox One controller. So for like just normal gaming, I normally have it like that. I normally have the uh, UFO looking d-pad in there just because I like the way it looks uh, this controller is definitely a 10 out of 10 if you guys if you guys have been thinking about going to buy one of these things I definitely recommend it I love this thing uh, I just like the way it feels the regular controllers are cool this is just a regular Xbox controller with some stickers on it not stickers but like controller skins Compared to like the Lunar White controller, the Lunar White controller is awesome though. Don't get me wrong, I love my Lunar White, which is my. I don't know why I don't have my control freaks on. I think I was moving some stuff around so I could put them up, up. But this thing, like, I don't even touch it. You can see the dust on it, which you can use as regular disinfectant wipes on it. But this thing is dusty because I haven't really used it. Maybe I'll use this one tonight just to give it some love but this is definitely a good controller control freaks are control freaks are awesome but definitely recommend this controller guys this isn't sponsored xbox isn't paying me to do this i don't i'm not a big youtube channel but xbox i mean microsoft outdid themselves on this controller they did a great job uh making this controller it's fantastic it's a beautiful controller and I definitely recommend you guys go and pick one up. Because there's just so much customizing you can do to it. Like I said, you can have two different settings. Just by this little switch. So you can have one set up for Call of Duty. Switch to number two. And you're in there for... I don't know. Fortnite or PUBG. You have all those controls there. Or like... Battlefield games. If you play those. But this controller is awesome, guys. I love it. I recommend it. I take care of that thing. It's, like I said, rechargeable batteries. Definitely recommend it if you're a huge gamer. And you play a lot. But there's just so much you can do with just a few little tools for the uh, controller. It's awesome. It's better than going to buy... I guess scuff controller not that much, but it's better than going to buy a $200 scuff controller when you can do it all right here. Have your paddles, have your hair triggers, and all of that right there. If not, if you just want to have the nice comfort grip that this has, I definitely recommend going to pick up the Lunar White. The Lunar White is nice, but it's only right here. Unlike the uh, Elite, it's all the way around the handles, except for the front, of course. But all the way around, so you have a nice feel. I recommend it. That's it for this video, guys. It's not a vlog. It's not nothing. Uh, Rihanna's back there watching the show. I don't know how she's at, but she's back there watching the show. You see the dog. But Rihanna's up there. She's watching her show. She's doing good. She's healthy. No more scares to the hospital. Her stomach's huge, guys. Like, whoop! Holy shit, watermelon. But she's healthy. And doing good. She's been kicking and going crazy in there. She's going to be a part of you. She's going to be a gamer like her dad up all night. Ow! She's, she's going to be a gamer just like her dad and play games with me. But that's it, guys. I love you guys. We'll see you in the next video.